If you are a big fan of the Japanese anime style of artwork, where you have a lot of detailed shadows, you can use a tool called the Stroke Tool to achieve this effect very quickly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the web very quickly to newtypeusa.com to show you all these different cuts in this character that you can achieve very easily in Toon Boom Studio. So I'm going to go back to Toon Boom and I'm going to show you that I have this character that I'm working on. And I'm working on, you know, adding the shadows to his shirt and his vest and all that kind of stuff. Now, what I'm going to do to demonstrate this tool is I'm going to create another body part for this character. And I'll show you how to create those cuts with the stroke tool. So I'm going to go to my exposure sheet and click drawing. And I'm going to choose a new drawing. I'm going to go ahead and right click and rename this right forearm. And then I'm going to go to my drawing view and I'm going to focus on this uh, character. And I have my auto light on as you see here. I'm going to turn that off for now because I'm going to draw this pretty big on purpose. So I'm going to create the wrinkles in the shirt. And once again, this is not accurate at all. I'm just going to show you very quickly how you could use this tool. And I'm going to go to my properties so I can give this guy a color in the shirt. I'll double click on a dark swatch here so I can give this a light gray fill. Grab the paint bucket tool and click in there. Now what you could do is if you wanted to see a line in this artwork you could always grab a brush tool or a pencil for example and you know with a darker color you could if you wanted to just draw outside the lines like this and create your your shadow area and then grab your paint bucket tool and give this guy a color okay so what I could do for example I can grab this red here and click in these regions now of course I don't want to see that line so we're going to use the stroke tool to achieve this result so I'm going to undo a couple times to get rid of that and I'm going to grab under the paint bucket tool the stroke tool this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and I'm going to draw out a stroke like so. Another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my view menu so I can see that stroke and I'm going to go to show strokes and I can see that I've created this outline here and this is the area that I'm going to click in to fill it. So I'm going to go back to my hide strokes just to show you and I'm going to grab my paint bucket tool and I can take a color such as black if I want to and what I could do is fill it in like so and now I have this really nice dark shadow and that is how you can use the stroke tool to create this effect without having that harsh outline and you could take your time and create all these kinds of cuts in the hair and in the clothing and fill it in with any color you feel like so you can get this nice effect so once again the stroke tool is a nice alternative that you could use to fill in your regions and once you click by the way you're never done you can always come back in there and fill it with another color so you can always you know do this now, without having to worry about having to recreate that stroke it's going to stay there for you and if you need to see the stroke just go to your view menu and show strokes some of you guys may have received a dialog box I turned mine off by clicking the little checkbox so I don't want to see that you know you've created the stroke and the only way to see it is to go to the view menu and choose this after a while you don't want to see that so just turn that off so hopefully that will help you out and that will help you create the uh, Japanese anime style artwork or just to create shadows in your artwork by simply cutting in to it with the stroke tool.